it's Molly here and welcome back to my channel. If you saw my last video, you saw me planting my seeds that I am starting and this is going to be a follow-up, kind of a series to show you guys the progress on these seeds. <laughs> one and I just got home from work. I have my grow lights on for lighting at this point because it's getting dark outside and this is my after work get up so I'm not doing my hair at the end of the day. I'm a farmer during the day and once I shower I am not putting my hair back into any sort of nanner. It's just going to do what it's going to do. So we're going to check out our seeds. Obviously it's day one and nothing sprouted yet but I am going to go through and I'm going to mist them and I'm going to make sure that everything looks good, that there's no sort of mold growing or anything that looks funky. So I'm just going to peel back the, I put plastic wrap over it for a humidity dome if you did not see the last video. I got my spray bottle right here. show you guys the cartons so you know what they're gonna look like. So here we are at day one. I have all my little tags stuck in the plastic wrap which I am going to fold back over before the end of the video. Just so you guys can see, nothing growing, nothing yet. I really have these guys in like a makeshift spot next to my window with my grow lights. So we can bring these back. The labels back into the little holes. Make sure they're all nice and covered. For the night. And there we go. So that's the end of day one. Alright, so today is day two. There is still no sign of any sprouts, which is expected. But I am going to give them a good dousing with my spray bottle and we will check up on them again tomorrow. Today is day three, still no sign of sprouts. I think I might put my um, you know, growing light on for a little bit longer than I've been having it because I just don't know if they're getting enough light. It's time. It is time to spray. feel good when I'm spraying this thing. I need to like 
a spray bottle with like soft grippy things. <sighs> we'll put that on the to-do list for inventions because somebody could just invent that for me. Something with like, you know, grip like this could all be grip, like nice soft grip, not plastic. It hurts. But yeah, okay, day three. Check. My flowers were sprouting by this point, but they were in a window with way more sunlight. So, and plus I feel like germination for vegetables would probably take longer anyway. I don't know, we're gonna see. All right guys, today is day four and we are finally seeing some action on these seedlings. If we look here, we got little sprouts coming in. I am super excited. I just took the plastic off and got to saw, see all these little sprouts coming up. And I'm still going to just keep them covered and spray them like normal. I'm so excited. Honestly, it's like Christmas morning, opening up the plastic and seeing these little green things sprouting out. I'm so excited. <laughs> Cool when, whoa. It's kind of cool when you start like seeing the little sprouts and you see like the dirt kind of like makes like a mound because they're just like pushing it up and out and I don't know. I think it's cool. Honestly, the plastic is becoming my least favorite part. I would much rather just reuse like a plastic container that like has a top, like maybe an old strawberry case or blueberry thing where it has like the holes in the sides and stuff just because I feel like that would make a really nice little greenhouse. So I might try that. We might try that. And you go good. Goodbye. Okay guys, today is actually day six. I didn't get to film last night because I got home from work really late and I was frankly just exhausted. So today's day six, but it's not disappointing. Let me tell you that because we are just being bountiful right now with our little sprouts. Back. I'm just going to pull back this uh, plastic because it's really cool to see the different different sprouts depending on what they are, especially the morning glories. The morning glories are not what I thought they would look like, but I have never done this with morning glories before. Um, let's see. So right here we have the lettuce, tomato, and uh, spinach sproutings right here. These are the morning glories, which I am just so glad they're sprouting. I'm really looking forward to planting these around the yard and having it give us a little bit of privacy around the fence. And more of the spinach and carrots. And I don't know what's going on over here. There is some, there's some starting. So, yes. Progress, this is progress. It really was worth the day off, I think. <laughs> I'm still going to miss these guys again and really give them a good watering because they are drying out a little bit because I miss the last one.
guys will see you tomorrow. Day seven, everything is looking good. So this is the lettuce, spinach, and carrots. And something I forgot to mention yesterday, and honestly, I just was really excited to see sprouts, um, was when we come to this one, this was the red and green peppers and the tomatoes. None of them are actually, oh, there are some sprouts now. There wasn't yesterday, and I guess I just like, I had to do a little bit of research, and I guess tomatoes and peppers seem to have a longer germination period than the other all the stuff the lettuce spinach and carrots which is fine because tomatoes are actually a hot weather plant which is I'm just researching all this stuff for like the first time I'm learning a ton I am being like a sponge just trying to suck it all up and there's so much I don't know Tomatoes are a hot weather plant, which means they like late summer weather versus early summer, late spring, which is when I'm probably going to be planting these things. So I'm probably going to be finding like the sunniest spot for the tomatoes and the peppers also are germinating a little bit longer than the lettuce, spinach, and carrots, which is fine because they actually need to go into the ground first. So, didn't note that yesterday. I'm noting it today. We're going to get our spray on. Happy day eight. We are getting so much blooming going on. Oh, and somebody hasn't pointed something out. So in case you don't know better, I'm going to point these out too. He thought that my morning glories, which are these right here, um, were getting fried because they have this little bit of brown slash purple color on them. That's just because they're not a mature leaf, and as they get bigger, they'll turn green like this. And this right here, that's simply the seed pod that it hasn't shed yet. And I am not going to touch it, I'm going to let it shed that when it is ready. And you can see some of these also have it still on them. I'm not worried about it. Oh, and so, remember the red and green peppers and tomatoes from yesterday that weren't sprouting? They are starting. They are starting to sprout. So I am very happy, happy, happy. So I think these are the tomatoes in the middle. And I think the put the peppers on the outside, which they seem to be going a little bit slower. Which is fine. They can take their time. They can. So honestly, I just been you don't want completely drenched these so that's why I just keep spraying them. I want them to stay humid right now and eventually I'll probably leave the plastic on for about another week. Or as long as I can uh, keep it on and stay sane. <laughs> it's not the most easy way of keeping it humid. It'd be great if it actually had like a top or something. But I'm just being conventional.
All right, guys. So I think we're fast forward to day 12 now. Uh, simply because not much was going on. I'm mostly waiting on my peppers because they are the last to germinate. And alas, we have a sprout. And we have a couple more back here. I actually didn't realize that they had started and I thought that one of the seed pods that was coming up was mold. And so I went and I grabbed it really quick and I didn't even think about it and I yanked one out already. So yeah, but I mean, besides that, everything is looking good. Everything's getting really tall. The morning glories is what you're seeing right here that are especially leggy tomatoes. And then we have our peppers. This is going to conclude part two of the series with the seedlings and how long they take to sprout. And I'll see you guys. We don't repot these until they get their second set of leaves, which are considered the true leaves. And that is when we will either repot them or we might even be putting them out in the garden by then. So I'll see you guys next time. See ya.